ban all but not fuck it ban all podcasts all podcasts need to go so if you're making fifty thousand dollars don't date i'm i'm just being for real <sighs> nigga You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. With You're not bro. ready. Oh my gosh, not the cosine. <laughs> You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. Well, if you're a teacher in Texas, you're fucked. Okay. <laughs> if that's the case. Ain't like the average income for people is around $50,000. You can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She Bring a bottle, invest in a water filter, which you can do on a $50,000 income. Get a canteen, save money. Also using less plastic. Rocket science here, y'all. Rocket science. You gonna be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is three dollars in Atlanta. Let's oh, not play. Please. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make fifty thousand, but you live in a shoe, and now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's gonna date you when you have no money. She just called the majority of women in America. <laughs> Bottom of the barrel, bitch. That's gonna date you when you have no money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm gonna tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're gonna wanna run. Because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she allows you to be a regular guy without any extracurricular expectations. Like the delusion of this world, man. Yeah, you ain't even the woman that most men want. Nope, I just gained 40 pounds after my BBL. Ugh. The people that be doing all this talking on podcasts and then to come to find out they're basically sugar babies. I think the lifestyle in Miami is the actual lifestyle in real life. You're getting taken care of because you fornicating in the streets and you think that's real life. You know about the lobster in the constant $3 water bottles and the man that got more than 50K because you're fornicating on the street. What you getting in the gut? What? The buck, 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 buck. Literally getting dug out. Raw, raw. raw. You get your money for the ice cream. That's not most people. Because the amount of money that you two girls are making on OnlyFans, is it worth giving up a family and love? Because any man that is worth his salt that you would even be attracted to wouldn't put up with it. I can tell you right now. And you, my dear, are a depreciating asset. Yeah. You're a victim. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go, CSI. Oh. Every day that goes by, you're going to be less and less beautiful. And at some point, there's going to be a history of you doing that. As beautiful as you are, you're stunning. You're a be pretty girl. But no man that is going to be in your league is going to put up with it. And so the question is, if you were truly in love and you had true desire for a man that would put his foot down with you, tell you how it was going to be, would you or would you not give up your OnlyFans? No, I wouldn't. Same way if I wanted to really expand my did, dating goal. Then you goal, do I, not genuinely desire that man. Job. You would not be in love with that man. Good job because if you were man. in love with that man, you would you would shut it down. And that day will come for you. It'd probably be way Again, down the road. Again, why don't I put on a hijab? Because then I can find a man who actually reciprocates because Muslim men lower their Any gaze man when other women that asks you to do by. it and you say no to, you're going to look at his you will not respect him and you will not love him. Any man that you look up to and respect, you would quit doing it for. And that day might not be today, but it will come. Ban all but not fuck it. Ban all podcasts. All podcasts need to go. I think that it's sexist that they have such large opinions on the fact that makeup is deceptive. Why? How is it sexist? Don't you have a rather large opinion on a man's height? Yeah. Yeah. Is so that it's the same sexist? thing. So, so how is it sexist exactly? Because you can't just say that without backing it up. Oh, no. I think that the fact that men just won't let women be and like do what makes them happy and that they get so pissed off that a woman doesn't look like how she actually looked. First of all, I think that is superficial. And I'm not saying that it's bad because I'm also superficial, but <laughs> like what I don't understand the most is that having a preference about a man's height, they can't control that. But men having a preference about how much makeup you wear, you can control that. That's right. So, so they should just shut up and find a woman who does not wear makeup. That's enough. That's enough. I rebuke you.
First girl, serious advice. You need to stop making decisions and choices. Find a man in your family who is sensible and who really cares about you. And just take their advice seriously. Also, abandon feminism. It's truly poison. Okay, you guys are all just like really misogynistic. Uh -huh. What is misogynistic about his statement? How do you, I'm just asking how you define misogyny. Can I go? Are you okay? Like, do you want you like you want to go as in leave? If you yeah no look if you want to leave you can leave. I was hoping we could continue having a conversation, but um, I think that was the first time yeah. in her life she was faced with like the truth of and the consequences of her actions. And I think yeah, I think she was just like gathering like everything she yeah. said on here, and it just hit her kind of. I could ban all but not fucky ban all podcasts. All podcasts need to go. Generally, men can walk by a group of women without those women catcalling them or feeling safe walking to our car. And we have to think about going to your house. Are we going to be okay? Like those are things that you don't have to think about, which shows us. You feel, just because you feel unsafe as a woman doesn't mean that you actually are unsafe. The reality is if you look at crime statistics, men are more likely to be victims of violent crime. What? But by so other I men. That, oh, that's, that's my kinda, point. Well, that's victim blaming. Okay. But it, it, that, what, that's not victim blaming. If it is at, because what does the gender of the perpetrator have to do with you're still victimized regardless of the gender of the perpetrator? I'll be right back. Please just, just stop it. Stop it. You don't, you don't have to do this anymore. You don't have to do this anymore. They're lying about the rain. Lying about rain. Yeah. What do you mean lie about it? I, where it comes from. I don't think that, you know how they say that the rain sucks up into the clouds from this ocean? That would be evaporation. Right. That's not real. That's extremely real. Maybe. There's no <sighs> maybe. It is proof. Real. No, I'm saying that it doesn't, like that doesn't, that's not the rain. Get rid of all podcasts. All of them. They all have to go. Because the ocean would run out. I cannot do this anymore, Chad. You're fucking stupid. Women are not attracted to masculine energy. They're attracted to feminine energy. Okay. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. Please. Please. Stop this madness. So your necklace. What? That's feminine. Jewelry is feminine, right? Okay. Money yeah. is feminine. Cards. Wait, 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 wait. Money is feminine? <laughs> yes, money is feminine. What? what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay. Right. Break me down. Okay. Right. Break me down. Okay. Oh, break so it down. Anything attractive energy is feminine. Attraction is about femininity, right? So when what? you talk about women People are attracted attractive, to each other. Attraction Hormones communicate pulls to each other. Attention towards it. Anything that's operating what in feminine energy is paying <laughs> attention towards it. So women are feminine. They're in the feminine vessel and just them existing pulls attention towards them. Okay. Jewelry, it pulls attention towards it. It's feminine. Money, it pulls attention towards it. You're fucking stupid! Now you can put money in a masculine position and make it move. Right, but money in itself, sitting still, will Reverse draw attention pace. towards I it. Don't have so to say the it. only way that you know that a man has masculine energy is based on how much feminine energy he acquires. What about a right. gun? Hmm? What about a gun? It's all feminine. Everything. A gun is feminine. Yes. Get the French toast out of here. What is she Anything talking about? Anything that pulls attention towards it is. Listen. Anything. Says because who? listen. Listen. Word. Planet this Earth, definition. Mother Earth is feminine. I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. I'm just curious, like, what, what can we as women do to be more attractive to high value men? Oh, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. Well, the big one I said, because I actually ask all my buddies this behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Tate Bros, Brandon Carter, all my guys that are super successful, all my friends. And I'm like, yo, man, what, what, what is it? And it's universal. Quiet, not argumentative, not a pain in the ass, etc. Like, Men make money and have to fight the world, especially super successful guys. So the last thing they want to do is come home and fight with their girl. Mm. Like, yeah. that's the biggest thing. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. Please. Please. Stop this madness. I clicked something to that. Is... Well, he didn't have money as an investment banker? Um...
He did have some, but the lifestyle that I want to live and provide for my family, it, it wasn't <laughs> as much as I see my highest self gotcha. and as much as I would like for my family to be supported, you know? Ah. Interesting. Yeah. How much money does a man have to make per year to, to uh, go out with you? I would say definitely over 500,000. So like US? a million. Buy yeah. a dog, die alone. Because no man deserves to suffer you. Most of y'all are not interesting or entertaining like that. And I'd rather talk to men that share the same experiences. We're able to have certain conversations. And then another thing, too, when we talk women is we have to dress things up in a certain way. We have to speak to you in a certain tonality. Because women are more concerned with how things are said versus what is said. If I'm around my boys, I'd be like, bro, you're fat as fuck right now. You look like shit. Ha, ha, ha. We all have a good time showing each other, right? But with women, you can't say that. You got to, like, watch what you say and all this other shit. You have an addiction. We gonna get you through this, but please stop! You don't think you can be racist towards someone who's white? No, I don't because you've never experienced racism in history. White people haven't experienced racism. One of the experiences- What's your definition of racism? Um, I'd say basically like the persecution in any type of way that leads to the downfall of just like someone's life. In 2024, let's stop giving people platforms that don't have any experience any knowledge just not knowing how life works in any form or matter let's stop giving these people podcasts stop so by the way the answer to this you know like causing someone's life to be worse because of their race the answer to this is affirmative action which is a zero sum game that is the actual answer or maybe equity injected into every area of the american government a la joe biden that would be an example of racism at work it's America. And yes, of course, black people can be racist. Is the idea that black people cannot be racist against Asians also or just against white people? Is that the way this works? Shut the fuck up in 2024! Ah! There's too many podcasts! There's too many podcasts! Too many! They all gotta go. Especially the talking about relationships. They've got to go. Stop! You have anything called the red pill attached to your name whatsoever. Let's leave these niggas in 2023 where they belong. Stop! Niggas listening to Red Pill podcasts while they got their philosophy from a fucking movie. Stop! So, I think uh, women kind of underestimate how um, annoying you guys can be and how much we really don't enjoy talking to you guys that much. Shut the fuck up in 2020! If it's your girl, you'll have a conversation with her here and there. But in general, we really appreciate it when you guys are quiet. Yeah, what about when uh, women telling you a story? Oh, uh, yeah. And it take a long time to get to yeah. the point? <laughs> ben! All but not, fuck it. Bear, all podcasts, all podcasts need to go. Every single one of them, all of them. Get rid of all of them. Women, men, all of them, none of them deserves podcasts. I was actually once driving my date home and she said to me, I don't need a man. I said, are you sure? She said, yeah. I said, so get the fuck out the car and hitchhike. <laughs> Turned out she got kidnapped. And that's a great example of why women need men. You're fucking stupid! Shut your donut ass up! What are you even talking? I hate it here. I hate it here so much. This nigga really just said, you want women to respect men, but you kick her out in the middle of nowhere. Which I don't believe this story, by the way, but that honestly kind of makes it slightly worse, the fact that you think this is a flex. You kick a woman out in the middle of nowhere at night as a man, and then she gets kidnapped by another man, and then you expect her to like men. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Fuck. Oh my, 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 my. Thanos, Zamasu, Monica, all of them, I don't care, get rid of podcasts in 2024. Ban them, ban them. I will vote for whichever president of the United States of America if you disban all podcasts. How amazing society would be if Twitter, TikTok, and podcasts did not exist anymore. How amazing. Get rid of all of them. The political ones too, they can go. The self-improvement ones. I think, I, I think, I think we have enough self-improvement videos, man. I, I, I think we have enough self-improvement podcasts, man. I think, I think, I think we had enough.
We, we can stop now. The only one I might accept is Shannon Sharp. I don't think I want anyone else. Those are the only ones that can pass entry. I mean, all podcasts need to go. I think they're lying about the rain. Lying about rain. Yeah. What do you mean lie about it? I, where it comes from. I don't think that, you know how they say that the rain sucks up into the clouds from this o ocean? That would be evaporation. Right. That's not real. Hey. He's not make sure. He's just too, he's not make sure. He's just... That's extremely real. Maybe. There's no maybe. It is proof. Real. No, I'm saying that it doesn't, like, that doesn't, that's not the rain. Get rid of all podcasts! All of them! They all have to go! Because the ocean would run out. All of them! Ban all, but not, fuck it. Ban all podcasts! All podcasts need to go. Cheating is the best thing I've ever discovered. Cheating on my significant other is the best thing. I've said this once before, and I'm going to say it again. Podcast licensing should actually be a thing, bro. Because some people just get on these podcasts and just talk a whole lot of them soon, bro. And giving people on musicians or comedians access to microphones was probably one of the worst mistakes ever. And this is why podcast licensing should actually be a thing. Better yet, they should ban or gatekeep all podcasting equipment. Because I, I equal it. But anyway, stay though. For the love of Zamasu, please!